The Chelsea Hutchison Foundation serves individuals, families, and communities affected by epilepsy by raising awareness of the common yet little known condition, SUDEP, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, by providing support and equipment for prevention of this occurrence, and by creating a safe space and raising awareness within the greater community. So the Chelsea Hutchinson Foundation is an organization started by Julie and Doug Hutchinson in honor of their daughter Chelsea, who passed away from epilepsy. She passed away from SUDEP, which is Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. And because of her death, it inspired them to make sure that people were aware that you could pass away from this horrible disease. And so they started this to bring awareness and to bring monitors and service dogs to those who need it best. The Chelsea Hutchison Foundation hosts a fun run each year to raise funds and bring awareness. Funds raised through our nationwide STOMP event provides funding for fully trained seizure response dogs, life-saving movement monitors for those in need, and grants for wish trips to Epilepsy Awareness Educational Expo and Day at Disneyland. So Domestic Pups is a 501c nonprofit organization. We train service dogs for individuals with disability. We do a variety of different service dogs, um, seizure response, seizure alert, balance mobility, and then diabetic alert. So seizure alert is based on, off a chemical change, a scent change within the body. So the dogs learn a scent that can potentially alert to a seizure. Not every seizure can be alerted to, um, just based on the person. Sometimes the chemical change happens as the seizure happens. So we also do seizure response. Our dogs are trained to roll people over on their sides. They are trained to go get help if needed. They are trained to do a lot of different things. They can retrieve medication. They can do all these other things to help be helpful in the moment of a seizure. The other thing we tell people is they're not, they're a tool in the toolbox. They are not the end all be all tool. They're not right for everybody, but in a lot of cases they can help and they also bring a lot of comfort to the individuals as well. The biggest thing we focus on is making sure somebody else knows that we need help. Epilepsy is basically a misfire in the brain. It can either cause you to have an absence seizure where somebody will be staring off. Um, most common people think of epilepsy is the tonic clonics where they are on the ground convulsing and it's scary. But there's actually 40 different types of epilepsy out there. So Alexis is my daughter. She was diagnosed with epilepsy when she was four and we fought it throughout the years. We did the testing, we did the EEGs. After some brief times of seizure freedom where she hadn't seized in two years, she had been off medication for nine months, we thought that was true. And then on December 16th of 2022, she passed away from SUDEP. And even though we knew about it, and we knew it was a potential, you never think your child will lose their life to this disease. And it rocked our world. <laughs> but it also has inspired us to do more in her legacy and her honor, which is why we're here today. Alexis has 50 people walking for her today. It's very amazing that there's this big, huge support group that Julie and Doug built. Just a few years ago, only having a handful of sponsors to today having all these great sponsors come out in support of this community. But I've also met dozens of SUDEP moms that are out there. A lot of their stories are the same, that people don't know what SUDEP is. They've heard of epilepsy, they've heard of seizures, but they don't know what SUDEP is and they don't know that it's a possibility. And that's gotta change.